Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. It's my first video with modular. Oh my god, scary times, but exciting ones. Uh, so yeah, basically I'm hopefully looking to do more stuff like this. Um, you know, if you're into that, I'd be very appreciative of your uh, feedback. Uh, however, if you're not, then that's cool. I'll just go back to shooting my desktop because this was actually... Uh, quite a logistical nightmare setting this up uh, this is also the first video I've done fully standing so I feel like I'm in sort of a, a weird place it's my place but it's weird like sleeping in someone else's bed with your own duvet or sleeping in your own bed with someone else's duvet whichever way you look at it anyway so basically I got the make noise o coast here uh, which I've had for a little while now and I've sort of been mostly been doing quite uh, wacky uh, crazy stuff with it um, but then the other night I thought oh you know I'm just gonna try and make a kick drum I've got this lovely triangle oscillator in here and uh, got like the uh, overtone circuit thing going on where we can bring in a bit of dirt so I thought I would just uh, Take you through it if you're interested. I'm sure some seasoned uh, synthesis people out there will find this a bit bread and buttery. But, you know, if you're new and curious like I am, you might find it interesting. First, let's guzzle some beer. Cool. So, basically, I've got... Unfortunately, uh, I can't show you the rest of what's happening because um, I d didn't have enough functioning cameras. So I'll, I'll work on that. But anyway, so what I've got going on outside of the shot uh, is uh, grids, which maybe I will cut in using some separately shot footage. Uh, creating the pattern, the snare is um, uh, coming from braids and uh, the hi-hat is a... Uh, a uh, thing I made on the Mother 32, which is, uh, uh, what is it? It's um, it's basically some really savage pitch uh, modulation Whoa. Uh, with uh, a little bit of noise being bled in. And then the kick is uh, on the Ocos. So, whoops. So with just the gate uh, plugged in with uh, this setup, you get something a bit kicky, but it's not quite enough. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of the contour uh, and the slope. The contour will obviously give us our amplitude uh, and the slope will give us our sort of pitch modulation. So. Uh, I'm going to try and self-patch this as much as possible and not rely on too many other modules. Uh, so let's take the oh, gate going in. Let's come out of the E end of... Uh, I'm not sure what the end means. End of... End of... Uh, into the trigger on this on the slope. And then let's come out of the slope to start with uh, into the Volt Per Octave on the oscillator. Now, that will give us a bit of a kick. But it's not quite enough. So um, maybe what I'll do, take advantage of this uh, attenuator here to sort of boost, kind of crank up that slope a little bit so that when I patch the output of that back into the Volt Proctor, I get a little bit more, a little bit more punch, a little bit more click. So obviously I've got uh, the sort of exponential curves up quite high on both of them. Uh, and the uh, decay and uh, in this case the fall down fairly low or fast, I guess you could say, to give us that kick, kick zap. I don't want the fall to be too high because then it starts to sound a bit zappy. Which is a bit comedy in the context of a kick. So we'll put it somewhere around about here. If we pan right, right to the triangle, it's 
pretty lush. But I'm just going to bring in a little bit of the overtone as well to for a tiny little bit of dirt. Although not too much because you start to lose some of the body from the triangle. Cool. And then I'm going to take the... Uh, just sort of stumbled on these guys recently. Um, so it turns out that the sort of dynamics out is also kind of a bit of a, a low pass gate thing, I, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I'd really like it if someone could confirm that. But I'm going to take the trigger out of the contour, patch that into the dynamic, and then we can kind of uh, kill the dynamic using the contour, which um, gives it a very nice. Uh, Nice bit of timbre for a kick drum, I think. We back that off a bit. Bring it back up, it's really nice. So yeah, I mean, it doesn't end there. I mean, we've kind of got, uh, we've got a nice kick drum going on there, but like, I tell you what, we can also do, way we can take another another source and bring it into the which isn't very well lit but uh bring it into the other side of this sort of summing thing going on here this is coming from uh the pitch out on the uh micro brute so i'm gonna sort of try and play the kick drum like a bass line which uh is not only fun but efficient if you don't have many uh voices like i do Now, because the, uh, the this will work quite well, so the, the, it, it, you get this kind of doubling up um, because we've got so much click coming from the uh, fr from the slope to create to create that initial click of the kick drum. We can use the the the, the decay to kind of uh, pitch a bass line. If I bring that decay up a little bit and then start riffing on the keyboard. So the pattern, I don't know if I mentioned, but the pattern's coming from grids, mutables, grids, which I just got the other day, which uh, is really great. Um, that's basically where the triggers are coming from. So I'll just turn that up, get a bit more funky on the bass. So yeah, that's basically it, really. That was kind of all I really wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, I mean, we could bring in a bit of the overtone here to... Sort of give it a little bit of... Bit more hardcore. Well, uh, there you go. That was my first video with leads and stuff. Um, if you'd like to see more, I'd really like it if you said so. If you don't, I won't cry about it. I'll just do it alone on my own. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.